Hey guys, John Sharps here from the Gun Bench, talking about the Ruger American Ranch today. This is a Ruger American Ranch. They make these in calibers 223, 300 Blackout, 350 Legend, 65 Grendel, 450 Bushmaster, and 762 by 39. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the stock Ruger American into a chassis based rifle using our Heat Seeker chassis for the Ruger American Ranch. All right, first thing. Pop this bolt out of here. I'm going to mount this ranch up into some soft jaws here so I can work from it. All right, to get the uh, stock off the Ruger ranch, there's really just two screws here. They come out with a 316 hex. are loose and get these two action screws out of here okay so what you're left with is a barreled action that has a trigger built into it and this thing is ready to be upgraded with heat seeker now um, heat seeker comes packaged just like this inside you will find some decals and some assembly instructions. And then inside the box, you got the chassis body, which includes a magazine, an AR-15 magazine release already installed, and a 14 inch handguard, and then a bag of parts. So in the bag of parts, you're gonna find a couple of lugs. Uh, a small little hex wrench, two um, action screws, and a couple other small screws I'll show you here in a minute. All right, so the first things first, with the stock Ruger American, the lugs are actually molded into the stock. And so we have to create our own steel lugs. They look like these little V blocks. The first thing you're gonna do is put those V blocks right in place. It's pretty obvious where they go. Then you're gonna take the chassis body and just line those lugs up right over the top. Take uh, one of the two action screws and a 3 16 hex wrench and get the uh, first one just snug with your fingers. And get the second one snug with your fingers. Not too tight. And then I'm gonna use a Torx drive. I'm gonna bring this up to 55 pounds. The Torx wrench. And in that bag of parts, uh, there's a little hex driver for you to use. So this is 55, 5560 is fine. Turn that until she pops over. All right, so now that both of those action screws are set at 55 pounds, always release the tension out of your wrench or it'll not be accurate down the road. All right, so we have the chassis body mounted to the barreled action. Uh, before I put the handguard on, I'm going to add a stock and a grip. I uh, pre-built this uh, stock with this, a carbine buffer tube, a Mission First Tactical Minimalist stock, and I put a CDS Tactical little neoprene pad on there. I find this little neoprene, prat, uh, neoprene pad uh, paired with medium height rings is a uh, perfect height for me, perfect scope height for me or cheek to scope height, I guess. So you're gonna thread this guy all the way on until she stops, but it's gonna be out of time. So then bring her back until she lines up nicely. And then in the bag of parts, you'll find a little 1 16th inch hex screw that goes right here. I want you to install this stock first before you do the grip so that you have plenty of access to this action or to this little set screw here so get that in there nicely and then tighten your castle nut down use a castle nut wrench here i got this big beefy boy but any castle nut wrench to really lock that castle nut down 
Then here I've got one of our Brazilian Cherry AR grips. I'm going to install that next. We're getting close already. Okay, now time for the handguard. Pop this chassis body out. Grab this handguard, which first just slides over the top. It's a, a light friction fit. I'm going to mount this back in the jaws. And then we got a two, couple of little handguard screws here. They thread in with just a little, uh, what is it? Three, thir three thirty second. Just giving those good torque for now. All right, so check this out. In that short amount of time, I now have a Ruger American Ranch built into our heat seeker chassis, and it will convert that ranch into taking AR-15 mags. Now, I said before that this is good for calibers 223, 300 Blackout, 350 Legend, 65 Grendel, 450 Bushmaster, and the last one is 762 by 39. This build here is actually 762 by 39. So if you have any of the ASC type AR mags meant for 762 by 39 that have this real steep curve on them, you're gonna be good to go here. So this is a 762 by 39. It's not gonna pass over the lug there, but. 762 by 39 American Ruger American in our heat seeker chassis. Goes together pretty nicely, man. I think you guys are going to dig this. The cycling on them, whether we're talking about 223, 762 by 39, 300 blackout, 65 grand, 450 Bushmaster, or 350 Legend. It's probably the third time I've said all the calibers. They all cycle flawlessly in this. We spent a lot of time getting the Magwell dimensions perfect so that. Um, that she cycles beautifully, and she does. So there you have it, man. These are gonna be up on the website. They should already be up on the website. Um, but build your own, let me know what you think about it. Heat Seeker.